different uh, uh, fruit for them to grow properly. That's correct. A round of applause for Nicholas. Now, Gideon. Cereals including maize, sorghum, millet, and rice, in addition to being rich in carbohydrates, also contain significant amount of protein and B vitamins. If used and polished, and are healthy foods for children. True or false? If used or polished. They are healthy food for children. Is yes, true they are. Or true, false? true. Very true. A round of applause for Gideon. Nicholas. Iodine deficiency in children could lead to impaired and retarded physical and mental development. True or false? True. True, and that's correct. Gideon, children less than five years need different amounts of nutrients than teenagers or adults. True or false? That is true. That is true. A round of applause for him. Nicholas, children must be given foods uh, rich in nutrients in small quantities at a time, but more often because they have small stomachs but require lots of nutrients for normal growth and development. True or false? True. True, and that's correct. When feeding an infant, it is best to ensure that the food is rich in nutrients, has lots of meat, has a lot of carbohydrates. Nutrients. Nutrients. Nutrients, and that's correct. Nicholas, yeah. one must start complementary feeding with thick and rich porridges with mashed fish, meat, or beans, soft mashed family foods, and then modified family foods as the child grows. Is this true or false? False. And that's so wrong because it is true. Gideon, young children need more fats and oils than adults. Is it true or false? That is true. That is true. And that is correct. Nicholas, yeah. your last one. Are you ready? Yeah. Good. Plain porridge made from cereals or tuba flour lacks protein and vitamins. To make up for it, it is important to add fish powder, soy flour, groundnut paste, milk, egg, and some oil. Is this true or false? It's true. It's true. And that's correct. Let's give them a round of applause. They have done so well. And that's how the cookie crumbles on the very first edition of the Good Life Game Show. It's been exciting. Three rounds. We've seen three people out. We have Gideon and Nicholas. Who amongst them gets all the cheers and becomes a force to reckon with at the grand finale? And who amongst them gets the tears and lives here right after this? Remember, they are battling for a thousand Ghana cities. No deductions. At the end of round three, scores near who? Abash Jemuku. Shall you guys, you're feeling cool. <laughs> At the end of round three, these are the scores. Oh, so sad for you, Nicholas. You came, you saw, but you couldn't conquer. End of the road for you. Congratulations, my brother. Come and give me a handshake. <laughs> and Gideon, a winner. Come, come over, come over. Thank you very much for coming. Gideon, that's our winner. A round of applause for him. The winner for the Good Life Game Show wins a thousand Ghana cities cash. Runners up and other contestants on the show win Good Life Humpers, as well as Protector Gold condoms and Aqua Tabs. Good Life, live it well. Thousand Ghana cities. What are you gonna use it for? I live a good life with it. Good life. Yes. What's your good life? My good life is having fun with my boys, hanging out with them, and one special lady. Wow. I'm yeah. sure she's going to get some accessories from this. Yeah, one. hopefully she will. Congratulations, my brother. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That's how we bring the very first edition of the Good Life Game Show to a close. This is the only show in the whole of Africa that educates you, entertains you, informs you, and even better, elevates you to have a good life. The show has been brought to you by the Ghana Health Service, the BCS Project with support from the USAID. My name is John Hughes, the Bonafide Genius. As the week continues, may the pieces in the puzzle come together beautifully to complete your true picture of a good life. Remember, good life goes with good health. Jinehu, good night.
This program was brought to you by the Ghana Health Service, BCS Project and USAID. Good evening, Ghana, Africa, and the rest of the wonderful world. Welcome to the Good Life Game Show. This is the only show in the whole of Africa that educates you, entertains you, informs you, and most importantly, elevates you to have that good life that you deserve. My name is Johnny Hughes, the bona fide genius. I love my life, so I treat it fine like a glass of expensive wine. In the next 30 minutes, you will relax and watch and even cheer as five creative, dynamic, and bold individuals battle for our swooping prizes at stake. That's a thousand Ghana CDs, no deductions. You're wondering how we play. Why dream you on Nakakram? But this is how we play. To play the Good Life Game Show, the potential contestant must be of age 18 and above of a sound mind and body. Two, text your name to short code 1759 and wait for our call. Three, take your spot on the show and play your way to great rewards in three exciting rounds. Each round will be explained by the host of the show. This is the Good Life Game Show, plain and simple. And that's it. A very simple process. Ubi Samia, we and yet didn't cry in a wakra. So now that we understand the rules of the game and how it will go, we'll first meet our contenders. Let me remind you that this show is dedicated to healthy eating for children under five. Hey Charlie, what is this good life everybody is talking about? All over Ghana, everybody is talking about their good life. My good life is go to the village every weekend to see my family. My good life is singing and drumming for people to dance. My good life is taking care of my customers and increasing my sales. My good life is spending time with my siblings and cousins at home. Mikra, what's my good life? Ah, you see, that's my good life. Charlie, what do you mean? I'm a good life for better. But you know something? When you are sick, you cannot enjoy your good life. The message is clear. You cannot enjoy your good life if you do not have good health. There are very simple yet effective ways of preventing diseases to protect your good life. Stay tuned to Good Life for more information. Good life. Good life. Live it well. So now we go and meet our contestants right now, and uh, we'll have a little chat with them and see what they have. Gideon, um, you said your good life is to hang out with your friends. Yeah. Man, why is that? Because it makes me you know, enjoy life. I, I really life is, to me, life is just living a life as you think is the best. Oh, and I think my boys, the way they, they encourage me, the way they make me feel... They like encourage you life. to drink? Not to drink. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you drink though. Okay. <laughs> Catherine. Charlie, why have a power? Thank jealous you. Oh, oh boy. I. <laughs> you say you like watching movies and criticizing them. Exactly. Why? You want, you want to be a movie reviewer? Uh, more than that. More than that. What yeah. do you want to be? I want to be a movie producer someday. Someday? Yeah. Wow. So when you win a thousand Ghana CDs, you're going to channel it into movie. Maybe production. it's a step. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, Charlie, you fly. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. thanks. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> She told wife in the No, no. <laughs> I'm not married. I'm not married. Yet. You're not married. Yes. You're still single and roaming. Exactly. Yeah, that's beautiful. Exactly. Jay, Charlie, what's up? Nothing, much. Charlie, this evening, what's up with you? You're so calm. I don't, I don't, I don't really enjoy. Going to go and watch the Manchester. Right? Manchester United, United forever. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you win the thing anyway. <laughs> so, Nicholas, you like painting? Yeah. Well, what are your favorite colors? Bright colors. Bright colors like orange, orange, red, uh, hot pink. So we're set to rock and roll, but who amongst these fine people will establish themselves as the force to reckon with at the grand finale? And who amongst them will leave the show right after this episode? We'll find out very, very soon. Now, our viewers at home can also 
fix their eyes on the screen because we'll bring questions for you and you can also win some wonderful souvenirs. Just text the answers to 1759 across network and you are there. Now, uh, are you ready? ready? You ready? Yeah. The rules for one one are very simple. Uh, broad based questions, general knowledge questions. So you each have five seconds after I've read the question to answer the question. If you don't do, you lose out. And it's going to be exciting because at the end of this round, the one who gets the highest accumulated number gets to kick two people out. So you for shine your eye. You for shine your eye, right? So we'll all take it in a deep breath right now. Let me see deep breath, deep breath. Give yourself a round of applause, all of you. Ah, ah, ah. So we're ready to go. Question one, round one. Gideon, Ghana's first Prime Minister was James Quedri Agri, the man who said, if you educate a man, you've educated one person, but if you educate a woman, you've educated a whole nation. Is it true or false? It's false. False? Yes, it is. Mo, why are they? 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 Catherine, Ghana's largest national park is the Kakum National Park. Ayanukre, Anasi Ayanukre. It's true. False! Oh boy. Jonathan, the Molin National Park lies in the east, upper east region of Ghana. True or false? That's true. False! Waiting. Waiting. Chale. <laughs> Boku is the main administrative center of the northern region of Ghana. False. True or false? False. Chale, we shock. But what was the man Ghana is Africa's prominent football nation. Won the African Cup of Nations five times. True or false? True. False! Wait. So, Gideon. Hello. Your question. The legendary Rojamila comes from Cameroon. Rojamila, shake your body. He comes from Cameroon. True or false? That is true. That is true. Absolutely true. Applause for him. Catherine, Benny McCarthy is an African footballer from Senegal. True or false? True. Benny McCarthy. True. False. Wait. Wait. <laughs> now, Jonathan, Rashid Yekini is a popular African footballer from Tunisia. True or false? Absolutely false. It's absolutely false. And that's true. Rashid <laughs> comes from Nigeria. He comes from Nigeria. Jay, Kalusha Bolia is a celebrated African footballer from the Democratic Republic of Congo, formerly Zaire. True or false? True. False. He comes from Zambia. He comes from Zambia. Now, um, Nicholas, Mustafa Haji is a popular Moroccan footballer. Um, true or false? True. True. How true is that? True. Very true. Very true. A round of applause for him. He got it. <laughs> Kofi Annan served as the fifth Secretary General of the United Nations. True or false? Kofi Annan. Yeah. False. False. And that's true. That's true. That's true. Kofi Annan was the seventh Secretary General of the United Nations. Catherine, this is your question. Philip Beho wrote the National Pledge. True or false? True. False. Ah. Catherine, wait team. Philip Beho, he composed the National ah. Anthem. It was nowhere near the National Pledge. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Jonathan, the name Gold Coast was given to Ghana by the Portuguese. True or false? That's true. False. Wait, T. The name Gold Coast was given to Ghana by the British. Jay, this is your question. Ghana took its name from an ancient empire called the Ghana Empire. The word Ghana means warrior king. Is it true or false? False. False. That's wrong. It is true. It is true. It is true. Now, Nicholas, the book thing, the book, Things Fall Apart, was written by the Nigerian playwright Ola Rotimi. True or false? True. False. Things Fall Apart was written by Chinua Achibe. Chinua Achibe. Gideon, Hello. this is for you. George Orwell wrote The Animal Farm. Is it true or false? That is false. Oh boy. George Orwell not true Animal Farm. Wait, large one. Oh, hey man. <laughs> Professor Martin Owusu wrote the poem Logoligi Logarithm. True or false? Five seconds, Nepal. True. False. That was written by Professor Atupwe Okai. 
very tall poet like that. Uh, Jonathan, Wole Shoinka is a celebrated Kenyan writer. True or false? Wole Shoinka. Yeah, Wole Shoinka. It's false. False. That's correct. Let's give him a round of applause. Jay, The Gods Are Not to Blame is a popular African play written by Ola Rotimi of Nigeria. True or false? True. True. That's good. Let's give him a round of applause. Nicholas, the first color of the rainbow is white. True or false? False. False. Of course, it is correct because the rainbow does not have white in it. Let's give him a round of applause. So that brings us to the end of round one. We'll find out who gets all the cheers and becomes a force to reckon with at the grand finale. We'll get the scores, the drama, and all of the excitement right after this one. Good life. Good life. Live it well. Welcome to the Good Life Game Show. This is the only show in the whole of Africa that educates, informs, entertains, and elevates you to have a good life. We just finished a uh, wine exciting and hot round. Now, in the next few seconds, we're going to have one, the top scorer amongst them, the contestants, fire out two people. Who's it going to be? Who's getting the big game? Let's get to find out. Charlie, who now cry to Who you want, Claire? Clear them right now. Two people. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> A round of applause for them. For Jonathan and Catherine. Exciting coming on this program. At least it's it's made me see people. It's in, it has introduced me to a lot. As I now, I feel so bad. I don't know how I'm going to feel if my younger ones should see me in the house. You know, after watching the show, but it's good. Maybe they had balanced their gender. I would have seen that a lady wins, but now it's to the guys. More grease to their elbows. Well, it was very exciting coming on the show. I I think it's still good life. Um, being evicted or not evicted, I'm still enjoying good life. But, um, well, um, I would have wished nobody wants to be evicted, nobody wants to be last. So if, if I've been evicted, naturally you feel bad, it's a human feeling. But as who's going to win, um, trust me, they're all good. And I just expect that the best comes out of, of, of each of them. The winner should, should show that he's the best, so we should expect. I can't really tell who's going to win. The show goes on and we're launching straight into round two, the wild card segment. Now, in this round, we have extracted some questions and responses from 2008 Demographic and Health Survey. The responses have been put in categories. So, the closer your answer is to the best answer, you get a very high point. That's six. And if it is not so close, you get one point. Now, those of you watching out there, text your name to 1759. 1759 all networks it doesn't it doesn't matter the network you're on just text your name and we'll get back to you if you are lucky you can be here to be battling for a thousand ghana cities no deductions question number one is about obesity so why it is all bushy and then the cars in vienna and electro system why too fat too tough some people say you more room or so but it is called obesity now most Obese women between the ages 15 to 49 can be found in which of the regions in Ghana? Gideon. Greater Accra region. Greater Accra region. Gideon has six points. A round of applause for Gideon. Jay, what do you think? The Ashanti region. The Ashanti region. Jay has two points. Nicholas. Central region. Central region. Three points. A round of applause for him. 
What would be your second option? Uh, I think the, the Eastern region. The Eastern region. Gideon has another five points on to his points. What do you think, Jay? Volta region. region. Jay, you have one more point added onto your points. A round of applause for him. And what do you think, Nicholas? Northern region. According to the research, Mokwak, Bobe, Northern region. There are no bushes in Northern region. So you lost that one. You didn't have points on that one. We'll go to question number two. This question centers on vegetables. Nearly every dietitian in the world will advise you to eat vegetables. Say uh, tomatoes, say uh, garden eggs, say uh, jenny, say uh, vegetable, be and found your pet cucumber, uh, lettuce. Every dietitian will ask you to eat vegetables. Now we did the survey and question is which region has women consuming fewer vegetables in a week in this in this in this country? Which region would that be for you, Gideon? That would be the Greater Accra region. Greater Accra region. I'm afraid Greater Accra region is out of this one, so you have no point for this one. Yes, uh, Jay? Western region. Western region. Jay has one point to his credit. Nicholas, what do you think? The Northern region. The Northern region. You have three points to your credit. A round of applause for him. Abon Sim, Abon Sim, Abon Sim. Gideon, round two, what do you think? Eastern region. Do you have four marks to your credits? A round of applause for him. What do you think, Jay? The Ashanti region. Unfortunately, the Ashanti region is not part of a top six result, so you didn't get anything this round. Nicholas. Upper West. Do you have two marks to your credits? A round of applause for him. So round two is over, and I'm sure we're having so much fun. We'll get the scores and the drama right after this one. Hey Charlie, what is this good life everybody is talking about? All over Ghana, everybody is talking about their good life. My good life is go to the village every weekend to see my family. My good life is singing and drumming for people to dance. My good life is taking care of my customers and increasing my sales. My good life is spending time with my siblings and cousins at home. Mikra, what's my good life? Ah, you see, that's my good life. Charlie, Moody and Mumwa, I'm a good life for better. But you know something? When you are sick, you cannot enjoy your good life. The message is clear. You cannot enjoy your good life if you do not have good health. There are very simple yet effective ways of preventing diseases to protect your good life. Stay tuned to Good Life for more information. Good Life. Good Life. Live it well. Round two is over. Now, who gets to establish himself as a force to reckon with and get a thousand Ghana CDs cool, no deductions? We'll find out the scores and the drama, but first, let me give you the details of the survey we conducted. Here are the results according to the 2008 Demographic and Health Survey regarding the nutritional status of women between the ages of 15 to 49. These numbers represent the percentage of women in each region who are considered to be obese or overweight. Here are the results according to the 2008 Demographic and Health Survey regarding healthy eating habits of women. These numbers represent the percentage of women in each region who eat vegetables every day. Welcome back to the Good Life Game Show. This is the only show in the whole of Africa that educates you, entertains you, informs you, and most importantly, elevates you to have the desired good life. At the end of round two, Automatically, this is the end of the road for Jason. Uh, thank you for coming. Give them a hack, yeah? It's not so comfortable, but give them a hack, you know? <laughs> All right, thank you for coming. We're zooming straight into round three. Round three is our 
thematic segment that round that deals with a special uh, topic selected from the good life thematic area now in this round we're going to focus on breastfeeding and feeding for children under five years that means that all our contestants will answer questions from this area here are two contestants one a big win who is gonna win question one what is exclusive breastfeeding Gideon this is when the parent is advised to give breast milk to the child without food or water. I mean solid food, no food, no water. Just breast milk. For what period? For a year. Wrong, it's six months. When should a mother start breastfeeding her baby, Nicholas? Feeding should start, I think, one week. One week? After delivery. Wrong, it is 30 minutes, within 30, 30 minutes. minutes after delivery. Breastfeeding should continue up to seven months, one year, one and a half years, two years, and beyond. Two years and beyond. If the two years and can. beyond, and that's correct. A round of applause for Gideon. <laughs> Nicholas, breast milk is good for the baby because it is easier to digest than other forms of milk. True or false? True. True. A round of applause for him. <laughs> Gideon. One benefit of breastfeeding over formula feeding is one that it is perfect, it's the perfect way of bonding between mother and baby. Two, it contains less antibodies than formula feeds. And three, it is more expensive than formula milk. And four, it involves preparation. It creates it creates a bond between the mother and the baby. It creates a bond between the mother and baby, and that's correct. Omar Kalani or to me or to me to me no relative very, very fine. Nicholas, which of these is not true about breast milk? It does not require any preparation. It contains fiber. It contains antibodies. It does not require any preparation. It does not require any preparation. That's wrong. It contains fiber. Gideon, human milk provides essential nutrients in quantities that are uniquely suited for optimal infant growth and development. True or false? That will be true. That will be true, and that's correct. A round of applause for him. Nicholas, this is your question. The protective agents in breast milk are superior and can be found exactly in the same way in formula milk. True or false? True. True, and that's correct. Gideon, why do we encourage every mother to give the yellowish colostrums to the baby? Because that is what contains the antibodies that help fight disease. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, Nicholas. Yeah. Complimentary feeding is weaning children and giving them food or giving the children the child a variety of foods in addition to breast milk or giving children only breast milk. Which of these is complimentary feeding? Giving the child a variety of foods in addition to breast milk. Addition that's to, correct. Yeah. That's correct. Gideon, when is it best to begin complimentary feeding? At least six months. At least six months. Yeah, six months and beyond you can complement feed. Them. That's correct for Gideon. A round of applause for him. Nicholas, yeah. children between six months and five years should be fed at least three times a day because they like food. Or their bodies need lots of different nutrients for them to grow and develop properly. Or they get hungry quickly. Which is it? Their bodies need the correct nutrients for growth. Their bodies need lots 